uh, app I built to do ad hoc drive test uh, drive testing for on your phone on your Android phone um, the main screen this screen shows uh, network phone uh, location and Wi-Fi data uh, gives uh, basic information about your SIM card if, if it actually has one um, uh, network type CGI your uh, actual cell site location neighbor um, uh, reselection neighbors these are the neighbors not the uh, these are the neighbors the the phone is actually considering reselecting to it doesn't list all of the current neighbors um, uh, that are eligible for handoff um, simply the neighbors that is thinking about handing off to you'll see that um, pop up whenever it's deciding whether or not to to go it'll tell you whether you're roaming internationally or um, roaming at all um, let's see start out um, at the bottom of the screen you've got live data and recorded data um, live data sh will show you a map of uh, where you are also with um, important header information like uh, your uh, signal strength, bit error rate, speed heading, um, the, the actual uh, LAC and CI um, technology you're on and uh, some, some navigation information right there. Um, let's go back. Uh, under preferences which is where you'll be setting a lot of uh, uh, the the app up when you first get it uh, you'll have uh, you can toggle 2G 3G this doesn't take you um, directly to the 2G 3G you'll have to scroll down to the mobile networks screen and then check off uh, that box I haven't figured out how to go directly in there yet um, you can set the sound vibration for handoffs uh, serving cell if you're getting bad um, uh, serving cell location information which is in, uh, entirely likely um, because the, the the phone doesn't actually the phone uses an unsupported Google location service um, to find the the cell site that you're on um, that's here you got a Google um, location services open cells uh, uh, ID which is isn't that extensive the Google site is it's got a lot of good 2G stuff but not very extensive 3G information um, and it's all kind of iffy uh, because of that I added a, a way of uploading um, and you'll see you have to read this in the instructions a way of uploading the um, an actual uh, uh, list of um, cell site information on a um, CS in a dot CSV file um, Come on. Uh, let's see what else you you have. Um, you, so if you doesn't have if you if it's showing um, erroneous cell site information, you just have to turn that off. There's nothing I can really do about that. Um, for you've also got cell site uh, coverage bubbles. These will show you um, the extent uh, of the coverage uh, from the serving cell. I'll show that in a second when I show a recording of it. You'll see what exactly what I mean. Um, you can set the the background colors, the the signal strength, dot size, um, all these little things. The um, how often the the GPS uploads. I mean, uh, uh, how often the the, the GPS um, figures out your location. The refre refresh rate, update power settings. The higher of of course, um, the the more it's going to drain your pull on your battery. But the more accurate the information you'll get is. Um, you can export the data that you record to an XML, CSV, or KML file. These are KML files are for um, Google Earth. Um, let's see, trying to get through this. You can set the, um, there's a safety for setting the battery level, a minimum battery level. If it goes below this, the application shuts off this so you, so you won't kill your battery. Map neighbors, um, this is really only works for 2G. If um, y this is set to yes, uh, let me get a little toggle. You have to scroll down after you do that. If it's set to yes, then it'll try to map um, any neighbors it sees. And that's if it's reselecting. When you see that reselecting thing, pop up um, is figuring out what neighbors with this set yet to yes the reselect neighbors will appear on the map um, as you're as you're driving um, and these are error messages for um, helping to figure out um, debugging problems uh, let's see what else 
is there unit of measure coverage bubbles let me just um, go real quick to a recorded data set that I did you'll see um, have a better chance of seeing what coverage bubbles look like let me speed it up just a little bit show it a little quicker the coverage bubbles will expand um, to the maximum coverage you've had you've gotten for that particular cell site as you drive so as you drive and it hands off you'll it'll um, show more coverage bubbles uh, with other cell sites and you'll kind of get a um, an idea a sense of what your coverage is along a given route by these bubbles that will pop up as it hands off and you'll see the signal strength kind of go from green to yellow and to red a lot of usually around as it's going from yellow to red it, it'll hand off you'll you'll notice handing off I have here the cell cell ID sometimes you'll have um, uh, uh, multiple numbers there those are actually the, the the different sectors on your cell as it goes I think it's about to hand off real quick yeah there it goes uh, and you kind of see what I mean there yeah, as the um, colors change one of the things that you can also do here is get some stats on the handoffs when they happen the cells that they handed off to the distance you were from that cell when it handed off the time the signal strength um, the one of the things that you um, you'll see also on the bit error uh, bit error rate right under the RSSI uh, this is always negative one that I can't do anything about that the, this method hasn't been turned on on the SDK so it just registers negative one they don't seem to be to be in a hurry to turn that on it uh, the people running Google I mean running the Android system uh, let's see uh, another thing this is where you would load up your custom um, uh, site location data this would have to be in a, a, a CSV file a simple text file you would load it onto your SD card um, click this and you'll see a list of uh, files that you can load up I've already done this um, earlier and um, it's, it has to be in a certain particular format I explained that in, in the instructions and on the website the website for the app as well uh, it will take if it's if it has a, um, this had a few about 2,000 sites um, in the Seattle area maybe uh, more it might take a few minutes to actually load it up so you want to plug it plug the phone in and just wait um, it, it, it hasn't frozen it just takes a long time to load up some of these sites for if it's in the thousands um, and of course you can um, you can save your um, tracks by hitting this or, or export them. Okay, where is you? Save, yeah. Yeah, this is where you would save them to uh, the different format, export formats. Uh, and yeah, and it, and it automatically names. You can change the name, of course, as you go. Uh, and this is a quick way of just um, exporting the the files also and let me see uh, there's a big picture feature this is a little tricky because um, if you do a lot of recording uh, if you've recorded a long track it has to paint a lot of images on the map so it it can maybe it I'm just warning you it might actually crash if you try to um, display too much at once but here you kinda get a good idea of what the coverage bubbles look like and your track as you drive um, the the signal strength track as you drive and the the coverage of the the sites as you drive um, this this app is a work in progress there's a um, there are, I know there are a lot of bugs here and there um, and I work on them and try to fix them as I can this is a fairly complex app um, doing a lot of different things at, at, at one time so uh, if you f run across an error, just email me at type1apps dot, uh, at uh, gmail.com and I'll try to um, fix them or r send them in if it, if it, um, if it, you get a forced close or something like that. You can automatically uh, report them that way and I'll see them on the uh, application site. So um, hope that helps and um, enjoy the app. Thank you.